This is a quick tutorial on how to save and create your own DaVinci Resolve presets, also known as macros, which might sound unfamiliar, but it's super simple and will save you a ton of time, allowing us to drag and drop pre-built effects straight on the edit page with custom controls, or add pre-built node trees in Fusion at the click of a button. We can use this grid generator I made here as an example, but the process is the same for most presets in Resolve. This is linked below for free if you want to grab it. Most presets will be these DRFX files which are super easy to install. If I download the file here, all I need to do is double click it and it will automatically open Resolve to install the preset. Then if I go to the edit page and open the effects tab in the top left, under generators it will be in its own section as a drag and drop preset. And when we drag it on the timeline, we even get some easy to access controls here to make adjustments straight from the edit page, like changing the colors or animating it with some simple keyframes. And if you want to, you can even open this clip in the fusion page and ungroup the nodes by double clicking to see exactly how the preset was made, which is obviously super convenient and can save us the time of building things from scratch or making changes in the Fusion page. But if you want to make your own presets that you can drag, drop, and adjust, I'll show that process now. Let's say I have this grid background I made in Fusion, and I want to save it to the edit page. This is just a background, a grid, and some effects applied. And maybe I want to be able to customize things like the colors or the strength of those effects straight from the edit page once this is saved. All I need to do is highlight all of the nodes except the media out, we'll right click this node here, go up to macro, and hit create macro. It will pop up this kind of confusing looking window. You don't need to mess with any of this if you don't want to. You can just leave it the way it is and it will still work fine. You just won't have the custom controls once it's saved. But one thing you will want to do is rename this preset to whatever you want to call it here. I'll call it grid generator. And if you want to have specific controls available on the edit page for easier access, this is where you do that. You can check these boxes to have them appear as controls in the inspector panel once this is saved. You don't need to follow along with this, but just as an example to show you what it does, if I want to be able to customize the color from the edit page once this is saved as a preset, I just need to find my background node in this list. I can collapse this image panel and go down to color. You can check these boxes which correspond to the controls in the inspector panel to give us easier access to those controls once this is saved as a preset. For customizing the color and the gradient, I'm just going to check a bunch of these boxes. I can also rename type here to background color if I want to. Maybe that makes more sense to me. This is optional, but it can be convenient for making adjustments without the need to open the Fusion page. When done, we can just hit these three dots up here or hit File and hit Save as Group. By default, it will prompt you to save this dot setting file to the Fusion Macro folder. If you save it here, it will be available to add to any Fusion composition as a node group straight from the tool menu, which can be convenient if you like to work in Fusion. But the quickest way to save this as a drag and drop preset to the edit page would be to go to the File path up here and click Fusion. Fusion, go down to templates, then edit, and I want to save this in the generator section. Now that it's saved, I should be able to go back to the edit page and find grid generator under the effects tab. But since the most recent update, this hasn't been working properly for me for some reason. It might be a bug or something that they'll just fix soon. But if you plan on distributing these presets or installing multiple at a time, you'll probably want to bundle them into a DRFX file anyway. To do that, we just need to open another file window and somewhere on our computer, it doesn't really matter where, we need to create a new folder called edit. Then inside of that folder, we need to make another one and call this generator. Generators. We're basically mapping out the file path for Resolve. Then inside of Generators, I'm going to create another subfolder and call it Custom Generators. Then I can go back to Fusion, and I want to save this macro inside of the Custom Generators folder that we just created. Now that it's in the right place, we can also add a PNG to this folder, which would act as a little thumbnail on the edit page if you want that. You just need to give it the same name as your .setting file, but with a PNG file extension instead. And now that we have everything set up, we can go back to the edit folder, which we created initially. You can select it and then right click it to compress it to a zip archive. And then we can rename it to whatever we want to call our preset and change the file extension to .drfx. You should see this icon change, and if you double click it, it will automatically ask you if you want to install it back in Resolve. And once installed, we can go back to the edit page and open the effects tab. And under generators, we can scroll down and find our custom generators folder that has our preset in it. And it even has that little thumbnail that we added. We can just drag and drop it on our timeline. And when it's selected, we can change the color of the background because we checked those boxes earlier when creating the macro. Again, that part is optional, but this is just an example. You can get pretty creative with the custom controls and make some really nice presets 
sets. The grid generator I made has quite a few sliders, so you can get pretty granular with customization straight from the edit page. That's available for free if you want it. If you're wondering what type of presets you should save, I have some videos building effects from scratch you might find helpful. Drop a comment if you have any questions, I can do my best to answer. And I hope you liked the video. I will see you next time.